Hello and the heartiest of welcomes to my YouTube channel, but I have to say that if you have not yet affirmed your commitment to me and my ongoing digital content, then frankly you need to have a word with yourself, and that word is subscribe. Hit the subscribe button and you will instantly feel better about yourself and your life choices. And now it's time to talk about Pedro Almodovar's new short film, Strange Way of Life, which if you've had the simple human decency to watch my earlier videos, you'll know I've vlogged about already from Cannes. So here is a digitally restored re-release of that first Cannes broadcast. Welcome back to Cannes, where we've been treated to a 30-minute short film from Pedro Almodovar entitled Strange Way of Life, a queer western with a frisson of kink. She was a whore, father. A woman was found killed in town. Pedro Pascal is Silva, a handsome Mexican cowpoke who comes riding into a remote western town with the resonant name of Bitter Creek. Having tethered his horse and affectionately nuzzled it in a way that might have been alien to, say, John Wayne, Silva comes to see the sheriff, Jake, played by Ethan Hawke. This is the first time the two men have laid eyes and much else on each other for 25 years. After dinner together, during which Jake abandons his teetotalism and drinks wine, the two men's feelings for each other become too intense to resist. The next morning, Silva asks to borrow a pair of Jake's underpants, and Almodovar's lovingly protracted shot of Jake's pristine underwear drawer is an amusing fetish. There is to be no post-coital glow. Jake instantly regrets succumbing to his desires, because apart from everything else, he's on the trail of Silva's son, played by Manu Rios, whom he suspects of murder. He is not to be dissuaded from bringing this supposed felon to justice, and it is to lead to a violent standoff and a singular vision of that domestic bliss, which is perhaps their destiny. Gunplay has long been inspected for its metaphoric content in the West, and here Almodovar playfully, if tacitly, offers us the question of who is doing the shooting, who is getting shot, and what are the sexual and power relations implied by nursing a gunshot wound, stemming the blood flow using lily-white underwear torn into bandages. I can imagine Strange Way of Life being enlarged into a full-length feature, but that might well dilute the impact of these variously tense and poignant scenes between the two men. There's actually some pretty robust and old-fashioned storytelling here, and Strange Way of Life feels quite old-fashioned in its way. It's certainly good to see Almodovar back in the saddle here in Cannes. So that's it. You're probably wondering to yourself, how can I possibly express my gratitude to Pete for these vlogs? Well, you can give them a like and a share on your socials, and in so doing, use whatever platform you have to support a plucky maverick me against elite big media. As I said earlier, you can subscribe and leave a comment recording that heartwarming fact. And you can also buy my book. And when I say that, I don't mean think about buying it. I mean actually buy with, you know, money. My book, The Films That Made Me, an edited selection of my essays and reviews for The Guardian. See you next time.